hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new please subscribe that's the only way that you are going to get notified when we post new content if you're already a subscriber welcome back please like this video you do not lose anything but you help to keep me motivated to make more videos share more content all for free by the way if you are looking to download forex systems forex robots forex strategies indicators books and stuff like that all for free there are links in the description box below visit those blogs and see if you cannot find what you are looking for sometimes people come and request things that are already on the blogs don't be that person go through the blogs and see if you cannot find what you're looking for then if you still cannot find what you're looking for you can always come back and leave a request in the comment section below and i promise to certainly make an effort to find the thing for you after downloading the forex systems robots indicators certainly you want to test them in real market conditions before giving them all your hard-earned cash the links are in the description box below for the broker that i use you can actually deposit five dollars ten dollars into your account just to test the robot just to test the indicator or the system to see if it makes money before you actually go all in so visit the broker that i use and open an account you don't lose anything it's just a five dollar account a ten dollar account if you are struggling with anything concerning your forex trading if you have questions if you have challenges if you have topics that you want me to make videos on leave them in the comment section below and i'll certainly make a video on your question i've been there and i wish when i started i would have come across a channel like this where they were just sharing information for free so go ahead and like this video subscribe if you are not yet subscribed uh, share the video with your friends let's get into today's topic in this video we are going to talk about leverage on one of the videos a subscriber uh, asked about how much leverage do they need to use for a 100 dollar account i will not delve deep into how leverage works and things like that you can easily google those things online and actually find uh, good answers but let's just accept that generally leverage is a way where you can actually be able to trade more than you deposit for example you can have 50 dollars in your account but because of leverage you can actually be able to trade for 500 dollars the opposite is actually also true people tend to forget that you might be uh, able to make money using leverage but you will also be able to lose money because you set your leverage the wrong way so let's get into the video unfortunately the person did not tell me where they are best because that's another thing that determines the leverage that they are going to get for their hundred dollar account for example in the united states in the united states financial regulations actually say brokers cannot brokers by law by law brokers that operate in the u.s and that are signing up u.s citizens u.s traders they cannot give leverage more than one is to 50 a ratio of more than one is to 50 that is in the united states if you are trading in the united states and i am wrong you can leave a comment in the comment section below and tell us the actual correct ratio but as far as i remember because i i googled this back in the day it was one is to 50 that's the only uh, the maximum leverage that you can get when you're trading in the us so this person did not exactly say where they are best but i know with brokers that are operating or uh, that are based outside of the us and are actually signing up traders from outside the us leverage can go up to 2000 i think i once saw somebody with a leverage of 2000 
2000 can you believe it so if you are in the us then uh, you have no choice even if you have a million dollars in your in your account you still are going to be trading with leverage that's below one is to 50 then you can choose from there which is safe one is to 50 is still a lot of money um but uh yeah if you are outside of the us however i said i already saw somebody with a leverage that was i think one is to two thousand that's the maximum that uh the highest that i ever saw but i i think i've heard of you can even get to one is to five thousand or one is to three thousand or something some crazy number like that but my broker the maximum is one is to eight hundred and eighty eight one is to 888 uh, uh nearly a thousand so you can actually have your ten dollar account and actually be able to trade thousands of dollars how is that so if you're outside of the us and you're not a u.s citizen and you're using a broker that's not operating in the u.s my suggestion is with your 100 dollar account is we'll also look at your level of experience are you a beginning trader are you a consistent trader are you already a successful trader then also look at your trading style your psychology uh, how do you handle losses because i already said leverage does not always mean a lot of money it also means losses if things do not go your way so how do you perform when you're taking losses uh, let's look at experience level if you're a beginner trader certainly i would say stay below one is to 100 if you have no idea of what you're doing yet stay below one is to 100 it ensures that uh, you stay in the game for a longer time don't worry about the people that are trading one is to 1000 one is to 2000 there is actually a lot of uh, experience involved and and people don't want to hear this a lot of gambling also going on in there so don't worry about those people if you're a beginner trader and you don't know what you're doing maybe stick below one is to 100 that's your ratio that's your maximum ratio as you learn things then you can certainly uh, um, increase it but research has shown that professional traders actually use between uh that's people that are outside of the united states i don't know about uh, uh when i'm saying united states i'm not sure about uh, the guys in the uk or canada or australia like the rest of the first world but i know the us the maximum leverage is one is to 50 by law so you have no choice there i'm not sure about the rest of the first world economies so what you want to well, the other uh, uh, point the point that i was actually making was that professional traders in other countries in other markets professional traders actually have been shown to be using leverage a ratio that is between one is to 100 and one is to 300 so that's professional traders it ensures i think it's a good balance where you can actually make money and you are not risking too much of your account in one go there's also the thing of if you are experienced now i'm assuming you are experienced and you have a good enough strategy and you believe your strategy works well you are consistently profitable and you want to improve things i would suggest you boost your leverage to one is to 500 ratio i think it gives good returns but you need to treat leverage with uh, good risk management i think that's where people don't understand leverage because it's there because the broker allows for one is to one thousand doesn't mean you need to take one is to one thousand because 
your broker says it's one to ten thousand doesn't mean you need to take one is to ten thousand ask yourself why are they just giving you all this money to trade with so you need to strike a balance uh, between being profitable and making money and uh, not actually risking too much of your account so one is to 500 might actually be a good balance if you have a good strategy and you know what you are doing so that's my thoughts on leverage i hope this helps you if you have comments questions leave them in the comment section below until next time bye